Hello, 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 welcome, welcome to the stream. So we're gonna play a little bit more Victoria 2 to begin us off off. So this is going to be the final, you know, segment of Victoria 2 Sweden. I mean, it's gone, I think it's probably significantly better than I think anybody would have expected one way or the other. Cause like we were in such a rut for, for like 15, 20 years was like, we thought it would be impossible. By the way, are you the laissez fair? Yes, you are. You're garbage. I don't like you. Do you have... Is there like a jingoist? No, we'll at least, we'll at least put in the interventionist conservative party. Crank up taxes. Follow that up with immediately opening and subsidizing sort of all factories. Because laissez fair, it's like it's so bad for your economy. And also, you're at war. Who are you at war with? You're at war with... Germany and Italy. Are you allies? You are allies. Um. Well, Hungary, I apologize. I'm not helping you against Germany. There is no way what. There's no way in hell I'm happening. That's happening. By the way, I guess if we are. Can we ally more people now? Hungary likes us. The United Kingdom's okay enough with us. Too many lines is threats. They're only at 69 relations with us. But I think other great powers basically despise us. Okay, Hungary wants military aid. I will send them $15,000. It's not going to help them in their war, I'm going to tell you that right now, because Germany will probably just march in and kill them. But I mean, we'll see. Because you want the coastline. You at least want, you want Istrin, which I guess is this little area here. I mean, that's what you have cores on. So they even attacked Austria, though. I mean, I guess you have a, you have a truce with them. Well, I would have expected, like, maybe you would have tried to do something that would have, you know, taken more land off, off of Austria. So you'd actually have a front line with the people you're actually invading. Because right now, they don't even have a navy. They have seven ships. Germany has 34 ships. Russia. Well, the question is, do you think Italy or Germany can even get troops into Hungary? I don't. I don't. No, honestly. If they can't, then... We got blockades plus one. Airplane organization, airplane defense. Are we, we do have aircraft. Yeah, we've got two planes in this army now. Can I build more aircraft? Yeah, build two more planes. Let's get you over to Uppsala. We'll put the planes in this army. Well, the situation, well, situation is that, you know, things are doing pretty well. We're in fifth place. We do have cores over parts of Germany, but I can't imagine we'll ever actually succeed in that. Like, it'd be nice like Schleswig Holstein, but it, it just seems like it's going to be an impossibility. We're making good money. Honduras, you're in our sphere now? Yes, you are. Lovely. We really are just like a bunch of, like, random people across the globe. Like, whoever is not in a sphere of influence, that's who you want to, uh... Friendly with the British, who else is not in the sphere? You're friendly with America, you are friendly with the British. Nicaragua, friendly with the United States. Chile? Friendly with France and the United States. Uruguay is hostile to everybody, which means that we can try to integrate them. Or not integrate them, but put them into our sphere of influence as soon as humanly possible. So, do you think Hungary is ever. Okay, orphans are still rejoicing over the mummy that we found. We can't build any more ships, right? No, we have no more dreadnoughts. And I don't think we can really upgrade any of our naval base right now. Do you have any plans playing Rome Total War Remastered? Uh, potentially, yes. I'm not too sure when that would happen. Like, how much, how much is Total War Rome Remastered? Like, we might play it next week. I got a few games. I got a few keys for some games that I want to try out. We'll definitely play next week. So we might see it next week. Maybe it'll be the series that kind of follows up Victoria 2. You got some nationalists down here in southern Russia. I mean, Russia, they only have 71 divisions. It's not really that much. I mean, we have 75. We're freaking Scandinavia. Like, come on now. You've also got a lot of Polish nationalists. How much is Total War Rem I'm gonna actually Google it right now. 
How much is Total War Remastered? Because I asked for a key from the developers. I never heard anything from them. Then we'll go for our Army NCO training. That seems pretty good. A loyalty discount? What's that even mean? I'll go back. It's only got a 6 out of 10? What happened to the Total War Roaming Master that it's it's doing so poorly? It's only got mixed reviews. Oh, it's only 20 bucks? Yeah, if it's, if it's only $20, I'll, I'll, I'll buy it. I'll try it out. So yeah, so maybe after Scandinavia is done, we'll play some Rome Total War Master. Probably not this week, but again, next week. And get that going. The Warlord era has now happened in China. Chinese Pan Nationalists are fighting here. So, is there anything that we can do? These restricted voting rights. Japan's at war with the Fendian clique. Is that for a puppet? Yeah, they're going to try to puppet them. Acquire states. I mean, we can now do acquire states, but that's like not worthwhile. Are you? Yeah, you're now considered civilized. So expect, you know, a lot of wars happening in China very, very soon. And I guess Japan did annex Korea. I mean, Hungary is still alive. They're at two percent from the blockade. But in a few months, um, uh, Hungary is going to get started getting a ticking war score. Okay, thank you for six prestige. I mean, right now, we're in fifth place. I feel like we're pretty solidly in fifth place. We can maybe beat Japan. Like, we can maybe get the fourth place. I think the first three is, like, they're way... Like, that's impossible. We're not going to get that ever. They're playing organization. NCO training's gone up. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Do we need any of these? I mean, that's a lot of prestige. But prestige, if we're already a great power, who cares? It, it doesn't matter right now. Reinforcements. Let's go for better railroads as well. Send these aircraft into this army. So we don't have tanks quite yet. Did we actually get a research for tanks? Did it finish? We have a negative... No, we have a 3% chance of actually getting it. We do not have the combustion engine. No, no, we do have the combustion engine. So yeah, we can actually research it. Bribing officials. Yeah, just put bribe. 200 bucks? Who cares? 200 bucks is so meaningless. Like, I, I, it doesn't matter to us. Yeah, there's an international crisis happening in northern Macedonia. You're in the sphere of absolutely nobody. You're neutral. You're friendly towards the Japanese. Neutral with us, opposed to most other countries. Do I want to back the Ottomans, though? Probably not. Okay, Bulgaria got the territory. I mean, it's kind of sucks that that's actually improving Russia's sphere of influence. So maybe we should have actually backed the Ottomans. But it's too late now. And yeah, you've like one more week. You can start seeing a ticking war score here. Work speed, a little bit like one prestige. Not a big deal whatsoever. Do you want more aircraft? I mean, you are 1138. You are 11414. So that's 1514 in the front. How are you so unorganized? Delete your. Yeah, delete one infantry there. You're now 10318. It's a little bit better, but it's still. You still need more units in the back row, so you might as well throw more aircraft in there. The Hunan clique. Hunan clique is you. No. The Anhu clique, maybe. Like, why would I want your support? I mean, are you, is any of you allied to anybody? You're allied to the South. You're allied to them. You're allied to the Dutch and the Ottomans. How many choices Hunan clique have? They have two divisions. Okay, there we go. We can now build tanks. 
upgrade all of these. We can't build tank factories ourselves because we're only interventionists. We're not state capitalists, unfortunately. We have repaid that's against you. And we have repaid that's against Montenegro. Germany's got a truth with them, so no reason to invade Montenegro right now. Yeah, got 1%. Currently at, you know, negative 1.32. So we might see a white piece between these two powers. We'll kind of have to wait and see. Yeah, we can't even intervene because we're allies to the Germans. And an, ally with, an alliance with Germany means a lot more than an alliance with Hungary, right? We got militant socialists down here. Are you still part of Germany? You are part of Germany. They never gave their claim, uh, their claim to uh, New Chantel. Solar Solarization, Prestige Game. We don't need any of this. Let's go for electric um, power generation. And then we'll expand whatever railroads we possibly can. I mean, better railroads means better mobilization. Um, factories are more efficient. It's a lot of good stuff. Who are we at war now? Romania? No, Austria. Why? Austria wants more territory. They want their own core. Which means that Germany will definitely be able to march troops into this territory sooner rather than later. Um... I'm going to say no to that uh, call to arms as well. Like, not to be mean to you. But, like, I don't think I can. Yeah. I mean, you're at war basically all of Europe. Yeah, essentially all of Europe right now. Uruguay, I think we can get you up to, what, front or, like, negative opposed. And you also want them to release some lands. So they're at 23% right now. Anybody else trying to, you know, influence our vassals here? You need cement, steel, and lumber. So you can definitely buy some of that. Cement, or not steel. Cement and lumber. So you can maybe hopefully get these to build, yeah, a lot, lot faster. I mean, nobody seems like they're trying to influence us right now. Where are y'all working now with Romania? Oh, and Russia. You are at war literally with everybody. Apparently we have 566 points. I don't know how that's possible. We do actually dismantle nation now against Russia. 77, 108... Like, we can't beat Russia by ourselves, right? You already have war with them. Um... I think we just peace out immediately. Um... And just take the land? I'm trying to think, like... Even though it says we're about equal, why, why are, where are we getting all these points from? A lot of it's from our navy. Yeah, just... Just abandon that territory for Romania. I, I'm sorry, Hungary, that I threw you under the bus like this. But I can't fight Russia by myself right now. Maybe if we dismantle Russia. Like, if I get in a war with Russia and with backing from the Germans, maybe. Oh no, Hungary. You're in such a sad, sad state. Did you, did you win the war against... This free state of fume. Hungary is now, you know, looking very, very sad. Who are you at war with? You're at war with France and Austria? Why are you at war with France and Austria? For Imperial Restoration. You know what, sure, if you guys want to fight each other, that's fine. For Imperial Restoration, because you want Transylvania to Nord. And you want it from Romania. 
So you're fighting for this province again. What a weird, weird war. But okay, I mean, if you want to. Italy's now war with the French. There's a lot of wars going on right now in Europe. Of course, Hungary, I will be... I'll still be your friend. I, like, I want to... I want to protect your interest. I'll definitely lose five prestige. I mean, we're great power status. I'm not worried about it anymore. You have 201 divisions now. We have a truce for a few years. Yeah, basically, everybody, if you want to go fight, you can go fight. I see no reason not to. Okay, combine these guys up. How are our units doing in Africa? We got a nice 60 stack. 9, 1, 10. Pretty decent ratio. We have a 3, 2. You just go to Zanzibar so you can at least, like, maybe get a bonus from, like, a straight crossing penalty in the future. I keep thinking that this is uncolonized, but it's just owned by Austria. Okay, upgrade more industry. Well, who are you allied to? You're allied to Russia. Just a lot of wars going on right now. I mean, do we want to get involved at all? You want to dismantle the Russian Empire? Ooh. Interesting, interesting, interesting. We might see Romania wipe our separate piece out against Russia. We'll go for good pensions. Other than the draft, we basically have... As good as we can possibly get. Other than maybe having bankruptcy, which we're not allowed to do for some reason. Italy's pushing their way through France. Nationalist China's fighting other people. Who is Nationalist China? You are. You're in the sphere of the Russians. Is anybody in... I guess, like, nobody in China really wants to ally us. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. Like, what are we really going to do? Putting troops of the Ottoman Empire. Me and Germany, we're just kind of, like, chilling out. I mean, I guess Britain's also here, but, you know, they don't... They don't matter as much. You want more territory from France. I think you're trying to annex Fume as well. Is there any way that we can get involved in this war? I don't actually know. I think we can maybe use Germany to justify a war against you. Place in the sun, 5.5. Uh, it's historical flavor mod is the mod that we're using for this campaign. And a sphere, free people. Yeah, what if we take the Austrian colony of Volta? No, it'd be Togo, right? Because it's technically two different states. So we can get if we can get Germany to attack the Austrians. You're allied to basically everybody right now. You're technically losing. Russia wants some territory from Austria. Italy is really beating up the French. I don't know how they're doing so well. A lot of wars going on in China. Austria, France actually lost the war. Austria got uh, a little chunk taken out of it. But now they're just like uh, right here looking very, very nice. It looks like such ass. Who made these borders? They look terrible. Build me, build me five tank divisions. Does anybody in Europe, does anybody in the world, I guess, make tanks right now? We, no, we don't. We got to go to trade. France, South Africa, and three countries in the British Empire all make tanks. Oh, now Germany's at war with the Russians. Why? Because Russia is attacking you. I'm surprised you didn't call me into this war. You're also at war with the Spanish and the, in the uh, British, but... Well, see if you want to dismantle empire against them. Why would I give you military access? I'm allied to the Germans. Use your brain before you decide to do anything. Germany, call me in. I want to fight. I want to fight the Russians. 
How much? We got enough supply limit. Let's move these troops here. Let's move these troops over there. Just in case. I don't think a war's going to be breaking out anytime soon. And looking at the front line, um... Yeah, pacifism's for losers. Does Russia not have an army? They have 95 divisions. But Germany doesn't really have anyone else they can easily attack right now. And Moldova's probably dead. Yeah, they get annexed, which means Germany might get a free cost of belly to... Yeah, liberate that territory. Yeah, so they just peaced out for that, unfortunately. I was really hoping that maybe Germany would just break the Russian Empire. Well, that's not going to happen. I mean, how are you not done this f fight yet? I mean, France is just in a sad state. There's really no denying that. Who else are we worth? They're worth the Ottomans. Yeah, more jingoism's nice. Let's go for shift work. Let's just finish up our industry techs for now. I don't think until either 1914 or 1918 when the last upgrades become available for our military. Yeah, 1919. We're still five years away from that. Paris is falling to the Italians. And we have gas attack. We got defense now, which is nice. You are the, if you remember correctly, you're the good liberal party, so we want you here. And Italy's becoming, like, a pretty, you know, pretty powerful country. Let's improve relationship with the Italians to see if maybe they want to, um, become our ally. Like, a German-Italian-Scandinavian alliance. The Central European powers. Seems like a, uh, like a little alliance there. The Dutch have lost prestige, because they had to release you. So countries in the Netherlands are trying to declare independence. They still sort of civilize as well, so we're not going to be able just to annex them, unfortunately. And you're now just regular China. You are a fascist dictatorship. You want to be my ally? No, you're negative 1,000. You do not like us at all. Probably because I took, like, two treaty ports from you, which, you know, it's understandable, I guess. When you put it that way. I mean, France is fu almost fully occupied. They can't get any troops in the fume. Right to the Austrian. What if I just fight a war against you? Release Puppet 2.5. I guess that's against you. And just use Germany to help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let let's do this. Let's do this. We'll just do like a really, really cheap cost of belly. Get Germany to help uh, a war against Austria, which will inevitably lead to wars against the Russians, which we can then use to completely destroy the Russian Empire and stop any possible threat against us. No longer valid. Because you're no longer a puppet. Okay, well then, um... I guess it's just man of fortifications. It really doesn't matter what the cost of belly is, as long as we're at war with major powers. That's really all I care about. By the way, how are you guys doing here? Neutral... Wait, we're not- wait, you're not in my sphere anymore? You got banned by the Germans. Wait, how did that- when did, when did that happen? I don't know. By the way, you're- wait, what are you at right now? You're at 60. Apparently we can actually improve relations here. Cuba has a rebellion. They've got a stack of communists. Which I don't think there's any Cuban troops around the area, so we, they might just, uh... Get your government overthrown. And when will you be done? You'll be done in about three months. Got discovered 2.5. Not a big deal whatsoever. I mean, if we can dismantle the Austrian Empire and dismantle the Russian Empire, well, we'll be looking really, really, really nice. Because our position in, you know, Eastern Europe is going to be very, very secure. If all of this territory goes independent. There's, like, nothing for us to fret. We still have gas attack. I don't know if the Austri or if the Russians have it yet. No, they're at war with these guys anyway. Why? Because they're attacking Moldova. Again, what? Well, 
Well, I was going to say that kind of ruined my plans, which was use Germany to fight the Russians. How much does Russia have? They have 150 divisions right now. So who are you allied to? You're allied to Serbia, but you're going to have... Yeah, you're not going to be able to do anything here. Also, belly against the French. Hey, Germany, would you would you help me in a war against France? You will accept, huh? Belgium and Hungary have a truce, but that's okay. If I were to immediately claim a colony, what colony would I want? I guess it makes sense for to go to French Etria. I mean, like, no other colony is really that nice for us. I mean, it's got to have, like, a, I want a territory that at least has, like, nice borders. I mean, at least, like, French actually makes sense from a, uh... Our, uh, yeah, French entry. It's only worth one victory point. Yeah, Germany, Mexico, under our alliances... France immediately surrenders. Can I... Wait, am I a war leader? Oh, yeah, I am the war leader. No, we're going to break their alliance. We have a cost of belly against you, but, of course, Aust Germany's already at war with them. Yeah, I mean, Mexico would say yes. And it would allow us to go to war with, like, Russia, but I don't think I want to go to war with Russia. Yeah, I don't want to peace out. I mean, we can peace out right away to take France Etria. That's not a problem. We have a handful of tanks. Let's put those into our armies. And there shouldn't really be any French troops around here. Let's at least go take the uh, war goal. So we're not taking negative prestige. Switzerland's actually doing some good work here. Or anything you would otherwise expect. Who else are we at war with? We're at war with France, Portugal... Which means we actually go take some Portuguese colonies as well. We should actually increase military spending as, uh, for the time being. Increase military spending. 